And we're back, everybody. Let's let's see. Have we we've made everything from there? Anything new in here? Got any? Oh, we got a toilet. Look at this. You can throw stuff in. What? You can't get rid. It's like a trash thing. You just get rid of stuff. Okay. And uh, Ada watches you while you're in the bathroom. Okay. This is pretty cool. Yeah, that's a, that game. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Oh, did it go back slightly from where? Because it was dark just a second ago. Oh, you know what it is? Is it did the auto save and then we stood here talking for a second and then yeah, that, that's what happened. Okay, got it. Right on. Parts. Uh, did we agree on parts assembly would be the the thing to do because that unlocks assemblers and the assemblers will make the reinforced plate possible. I mean, that's a thing. Double this thing. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Got that. I don't have quite enough of that. Uh, yeah, don't have quite enough of all that stuff. Ah! Slowed, down, slowed me down there. Uh, we need some more of this. And we need some more of that. And I'll do like a that sort. Sort you guys out. And then you. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve Fixit company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Ha. Huh. You just know how to... <laughs> you really know how to turn that phrase there, you know? Blew a fuse. Oh, I ran out of power. Yep. Yep, that's, that's unfortunate. There you go. Reload that a bit. Oh, we can use this. Okay. Uh, take all of that. And it's probably you. Yep. There you go. We're good. We good. Uh, I'll take the biomass out and give you that. Uh, 
Oh, you really cannot take a lot, can you? Yeah. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh. Okay. You're actually... You got... You got lots. You, you took all of that stuff. So. Not quite. Pretty close, but not quite. There you go. There you go. Nice. You guys are all good to go, and you're slowly accumulating. Awesome. And the pod is on its way. So we got the assembler. It uses 15 power. And we're going to need to up our power game for sure. Okay, so that, that unlocked that. I need to go get more copper. Um, jump pads. I guess we can do the sink. Yeah, neither of these we actually have enough stuff for. Yeah, we're going to have to build a reinforced iron plate thing. Hmm. 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 Okay, we're, yeah, we're definitely going to have to build a reinforced plate um, factory. We're going to need a lot more bio biomass and stuff. How are we doing over here? Fortunately, wood goes like a long way, a real long way, and this is, this is actually going pretty slowly. You know, we almost. Uh, we might want to actually split that off. It's making sixty per minute. That's what's sixty times sixty. Six hundred times six, right? Ah, what that is? Oh wait, there is a there is a calculator somewhere. I have no idea what. Ah, there you go. Sixty times sixty. No, so that's not how that works. I'm about like that. 3,600 per hour? This, this, this thing is pumping out 3,600 per hour on one belt? Yeah. Milestone completed. Energy complete. Excellent. Okay. Alright, so if we want to make... Oh, we're definitely going to need... Um, yeah. What is this? A normal node. I think normal nodes put out 60. We've got two normal iron nodes. I think they put out 60 per minute. So if we slap a miner down here to replace this, yeah, I don't know how how all that stuff calculates out. Um, like if we want to do um, reinforced plate, we need a whole lot of plate and screws, and of course, right now. 
we only know how to make screws out of rod. Later you can make uh, cast screws, which comes, I think they come straight from ingots. Which greatly simplifies things. Obviously it eliminates, uh, it eliminates an entire step. Yeah, I can't, I, I don't think I can do these things without, I don't think I can calculate this stuff without, uh, without help from a, uh, like a, a control, or help from a calculator like, uh, Satisfactory Tools or whatever. So, I think what we're gonna do is leave some stuff behind. Oh, oh, wait a minute, got more of this. Nice, oh, of that stuff. Um, we're going to... Yeah, our exploration is a little bit on the limited side. Just because we don't have a lot of, um... We don't have a lot of things to actually explore with. We only have the, the zapper, so we don't have a lot of defense. And we can't scan that many things. We can't move up and down. Pretty much that is actually going through that quite quickly. Alright, let's take... You can't actually max them out. Look at that. Okay. Well, two of them were pretty close. Let's go. What else do we have? We can. Oh, we can actually now search for Caterium ore and Sulfur. I think we want both of these, right? We're the closest Caterium ore. kilometer that way. Okay. And solver. Three hundred and seventy seven meters that way. I don't know if I hang on, let's just take a look at what we what we need to do research for the next step. We need 50 Caterium ore to get the ingots. Not that we really need that right now. And sulfur. And oh, we need coal as well. I don't think we've, um... We haven't found coal, have we? We don't have the ability to even... No, we don't even have the ability to look for coal. Okay. Oh, hello. And I still want to be able to like put these things into, I think you can only, you have to equip it in a hand slot. Um, kind of annoying. Whatever. Hey bud. So, unfortunately there's there's um, that thing over there, which is not that friendly. And by not friendly, I mean like really bloody aggressive. Oh, there is, there is that, um, oops. There is that slug over here we might be able to get to. That one. Right there. You know what? We're gonna 
take a bit of damage. Oh, we didn't. Hey. Okay, awesome. We actually got here. Yoink! This semi-slug species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Studying this could provide new methods for improving fixit production line efficiency. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Oh, we also have two more normal nodes here. Hmm, you know, maybe. Maybe we should build our um, our reinforced thing here. That'd probably be really good. That could be a thing that we could do. Oh, there's another one. Hey. Can I scan for them? What's this? In here? Mushroom, pale berry, berry nut. No, that's all we've got. Okay. A whole lot of poison over there. go in there. Do I do this again? It's this. Um, cave. Yeah. Okay. Are going to run into anything super nasty in here? didn't do that much spelunking in my previous runs, so I... Oh! Oh god, no. Die. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Initial data suggests these are predators, but notably they do not have a traditional mouth or eyes. There are, however, numerous cavities on their head which could fulfill a similar function. Research the remains in the map to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Ow! Spiders! Ugh. Maybe I should have uh, activated the, uh, the spider, spider thing. Spider, uh, there's like an arachnophobia mode. That is kind of giving me chills. Oh, there's more. Got the hostilities. Something green over there. A lot of poison. Anything? No. And this is just poison. And I don't think I can go through there. How, how dangerous is this? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Hmm. 
Uh, can I look how far it goes? Can you change like the color of these things? That would be great. Because then I can change it. I'd change it to like green. So I know that it's uh, a poisonous um, cave. Highlight stamp. Oh. I'll pilot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, hello. There is something for us to grab, though. I can get up there. Oh. I'm stuck. There. there we go. Consume. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Uh -huh. Mercer spheres. There you go. Finally, finally got the name. I don't see anything else in here, eh? No rare ores or anything we can grab. Okay. Well, that's fine. Poisonous stuff over there. This, yeah, the poison is quite damaging. There's probably something being defended over there. Kind of has that look about it. I heard you. Pure limestone and more limestone. And we've got. I need to. I need to kill some more of these these beasts. What's this? Impure. Uh, imp ah, hello. Yeah. 
And got him. Impure. Oh, there's another one. If I can climb up here. Getting up here might be a bit of a... Mm. No. Oh, I ran out. Damn. I gotta remember I gotta remember to have some of the uh biofuel with me. At all times. Okay, I can't actually get in there. And mm. Oh, right, how far am I from my Caterium? It was, it was over in this direction. Three hundred and forty-nine meters. That should be doable. Hello, is that several of those hogs over there? And looks like it. That, I believe, is a coal node over there, which we can't reach right now. That looks like a yellow slug. I also can't reach that. The blue one over there. you did. Come on back. Damn. Uh, how many of these things have I got now? Three. I guess I'll need more. There's another one here, right? And I... Just see when there it is. Okay, what's this? Perfect. Not sure, that's 24. This is a copper ore node. You know what? Might as well take this. This is looks like it's oh. Then you are you already aggressive? I, I like that it it alerts you that there's enemies. Thank you. Oh, I was gonna go and take a look at this over here. That is a giant chasm, is what that is. And then there's poison. Oh, there's something right there. Hiding. You look like copper. There you are. Um, I think I missed the Caterium, man. this way. What's that? No. This is MP. 
here. Thank you for your donation, Cause More impure. So there's a bunch of impure nodes over here. It's right over here. Ah. Underneath that rock thing? Right, hold on. Oh, hello, there's another, another one of those Mercer things over there. Can I mark that? Um, I mean, now that we know what it is, I guess it's a... That looks like a mine. This is like a warning? I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a taco or something. <laughs> um, collectible? Sure. We're kind of coming to the edge of the world, at least this part of it. There's a couple of beasts down there. Oh, there's a ton more. There are so many uh, iron nodes in this area. Most of them are impure, which is, you know, a bit of a shame. But there's a lot of it. Like, a lot. I still haven't come across the other lake. I'm sure there's another lake around here somewhere. Oh, there's two of them over there. How many have I got now? Five. I think that's enough to do the next stage of research. Oh, I got another poison area over here. What is this? Looks like limestone. Okay, there's there's definitely a slug up there. Whole bunch of poison. Yeah, grassy fields has a lot of room to build. Huge amount of stuff. Oh, and I can't collect any of this because I don't have any biofuel. Damn it. That was really, really dumb. I have to just pick up what I can pick up by hand. And then this. Ah, another thing that needs to be blown up. Interesting. Okay. That needs to go boom. very much. Oh god, are you? Oh god, you're still following me! 
Did you take any damage from that? Cause you could you, could you like maybe like not Can you please stop following me? Like I'd I'd really like it. Really, really, really appreciate it if you stopped. Holy crap, do they ever stop? Maybe I should have gone with the, um... Maybe I should have gone with the, um... Should have gone with the, um, non-hostile, uh, life form thing. Dude. <laughs> Just relax. Leave, leave me alone. No, no, you need to, you need to go away. I can't. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... <laughs> you followed me from all the way over there? I... What are we up to? Well, that's not bad. Is there a way to kill you? I don't have any kind of... Okay. I'm gonna have to research what to do about this. I'll see you guys in the next episode.